Welcome back, everybody, to Meals from the Field. Joining me, as always, is my good, good friend you, and partner in crime, Marshall Crowley. Yes, we are on location this we month at Truist Field, home of the Atlanta Braves, just outside of downtown Atlanta. What better way to celebrate National Peanut Month than out here at Truist Park? We've got some great recipes. We just saw the piece there on uh, the book that has been put out by the Georgia Peanut Commission. And what we wanted to do was actually demonstrate the recipes that were mentioned in that book and you can hear a lot of the construction going on so we do apologize for any kind of noise out here but like we said that's what happens when we're on location right people Marcia? pay good money for background and noise. that's right and they pay good money so what do we have today again we just saw the story uh, on the new book that's out by the georgia peanut, uh, georgia peanut commission we're doing some recipes you made these yourself and you like them a lot. I did. I, li uh, I like them a lot. Okay. Uh, the first one we're going to do is a strawberry uh, broccoli peanut salad. And honestly, when I read this recipe, I said, that, there's no way that can be good, that combination. It is delicious. And I even brought the GoPro it's that delicious. I can get up top shots. Yeah. Look at this thing. Okay, so go ahead. All right, so we, uh, this is a cup and a half of um, chopped broccoli. And mm -hmm. I like to kind of blanch the broccoli a little bit and that means you put the broccoli in boiling water and immediately take it out. Okay. It gives it that nice green color. Let's see where I can put this. A cup and a half of sliced strawberries and of course all of this stuff is from Georgia as well. Right. A cup of honey roasted peanuts. You could put more in there, it's not going to ruin it or less, whatever your preference is. Mm -hmm. And then the dressing is three tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt, yogurt okay. and two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. All right. And you could add a little honey to that if you wanted to, which I did with that. You just stir this up like so, and you pour it over the salad and serve immediately. And I'm telling you, it's really, really good. Nice. It's really good. That's okay. one recipe. Okay, the next one, this is one you're gonna love. Is this the peanut butter this pie? This is the peanut butter pie. <laughs> Marsha actually called me on the phone and you texted me, I believe, and you said, wait till you oh, try the peanut butter pie. It's it is so good. It is to die for. And it's so easy. All right, for obvious reasons, so we what, don't have a... What you're trying to say, it's a home run? It's a uh, home run. see what I did Pretty there. good, yeah, okay. pretty good. For obvious reasons, we I've already mixed this up. It's milk, four ounces of uh, softened cream cheese. Okay and uh, powdered sugar and you would use a mixer for that part of it and I, we don't have electricity right yet so we're going to add to that mm -hmm. a cup of crunchy peanut butter okay and by law all peanut butter has to have at least 90 percent peanuts so ah, that's a good okay. good healthy fact we've got a cup of pe uh, extra crispy peanut butter extra crunchy sorry and an eight ounce tub of whipped topping. Nice. I mean, what could be wrong with that? Nothing. Just mix that, fold all that in. Mix that up. Fold all that in and with the essence of time, I'm not going to do all of that because it takes just a few minutes. You just make sure it's incorporated very well. Then you're going to pour that into a prepared either graham cracker, pie crust, and this is a chocolate cookie pie crust, which to me, peanut butter and chocolate just go together. You, you can't go wrong with that. No, you can't go, go wrong together. with that. All right. And the last thing, if this isn't too far, this is a protein uh, peanut butter game day bar. Okay. And this, I've already melted this. You've got to melt this either on top of the stove or in a microwave. It's a uh, stick of butter, peanut butter, honey, three quarters of a cup of honey, which is a lot. Okay. And you're going to add to that, oh, it's got brown sugar as well. Let me, let me put that book down just a minute. Three cups of quick oats. Mm -hmm. A half a cup of chopped peanuts. All right. And here again, I would use the lightly salted. I don't know that I'd do the honey roasted in this because there's already a lot of honey in it. And a cup of dried cranberries. And you just stir all that together, mix all that together. And the recipe and the cookbook caused to form this into balls. And the balls, okay. And I had a hard time with that because this is so um, sticky. Sticky and stuff? Sticky. So I just spread it in a 
a cookie sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Okay. And you let it sit at room temperature till it's completely cool and I cut it into little squares. Okay. That seemed to work better for me. I didn't have any luck with making them into balls. All right. And, and that's, you just mix that is, all that stuff just up. Just mix all that up. And, and it's real simple too. And this it? would be a very healthy snack for kids. Okay. A very portable if you wanted to take it to a Braves game. Right. Um, well, let's, and I will pull up the old uh, trusty GoPro and I'll get some shots of all this stuff there. There you go. Get some here, get some of that pie. That pie, Look you're going to love the pie. Salad and stuff like that. And like we said, Marsha, all these recipes are uh, pretty simple. You can also find them on the Georgia Peanut Commission's website. Yep. Go on there again. Uh, one of the recipes mentioned in the, in the book. Um, and we cannot thank the Atlanta Braves enough for oh, yeah. letting right. us come out here and letting us film this place. Absolutely beautiful ballpark if you get a chance to go to a game this year. Thank you so much to the Georgia Peanut Commission for the book uh, and for all this delicious food. Um, and we're about to indulge while we pretend to watch some baseball. So yeah. good Dream. seeing you again, Marsha. And of course, we will see you again next month.